what that entails, think of a fuel rack as a pack of cigarettes. And you try to pull a cigarette out. If you hold the pack of cigarettes in the right direction and pull the cigarette straight up, it'll come out just fine. But if the pack is distorted and you pull the cigarette, it breaks. Well, that's the problem that they're going to encounter on Fukushima Daiichi 4. The racks are distorted from the earthquake. Oh, by the way, the roof has fallen in, which further distorted the racks. And uh, the net effect is that they've got the bundles of fuel, the cigarettes, if you will, in these racks. And as they pull them out, they're likely to snap a few. When you snap a nuclear fuel rod, that releases radioactivity again. So my guess is, and it's things like Krypton-85, which is a gas, uh, cesium will also be released, strontium will be released. They'll probably have to evacuate the building for a couple of days. They'll take that radioactive gas and they'll send it up the stack up into the air because xenon can't be scrubbed, it can't be cleaned. So they'll send that radioactive xenon up into the air and, and purge the building of all the radioactive gases and then go back in and try again. It's likely that that problem will, uh, will exist on more than one bundle. So over the next year or two, it wouldn't surprise me that either they don't remove all the fuel because they don't want to pull too hard, or if they do pull too hard, they're likely to uh, damage the fuel and cause a, a radiation leak inside the building. So that's problem number two in this process. Getting the fuel out of Unit 4 is a top priority item, but it's not going to be easy. Tokyo Electric is portraying this as easy. In a normal nuclear reactor, all of this is done with computers, and, and uh, everything gets pulled perfectly vertically. Well, nothing is vertical anymore in there. The fuel racks are distorted, and um, it's all going to have to be done manually through very murky water. The net effect is that it's a really difficult job, and it wouldn't surprise me if they snap some of the fuel and they can't remove it.